we're gonna design a little dog bone dog tag. Isn't that cute? Using Tinkercad, you can design your dog or cat a tag just like this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So let's get started. I'm gonna drag out my box to our work plane and adjust it to about 30, 30 millimeters. And then I'm gonna shrink it down to about, oh, I'm gonna adjust this to five millimeters. The other shape that we're gonna be working with today is the cylinder. We're gonna use four of these. So these are gonna be the um, bulbous ends of our dog bone. Now this makes our bone really short. Don't know if I'd like it that short. So we need to make it a little bit bigger. Like I said, the bone is really short and stubby, so I'm gonna pull these two out and I'm going to make it longer so my center part is a lot longer. There we go, that looks better. Click on the cylinders and copy those before I group everything together. And I'll show you why here in a minute. I'm gonna select all of these and we're gonna see what it looks like all grouped together. I group my main shape together and I see these little open, open triangles that I need to get rid of. So now I'm gonna show you why I copied all of our cylinders and put them up here. So I made our main base, the red bone, um, five millimeters high. So this is because I want to make sure that I have an edge that goes all the way around my bone. And then I make it about two millimeters tall and then drag them over here to our red bone. So you can see it doesn't exactly fit, but we're going to fix that. So let's try another way to do this. This might not be the best way. So I'm gonna select everything and then ungroup it. And again, I'm gonna copy everything that's here. So holding down Alt or Option on your keyboard, I'm just gonna click and drag. This is an exact copy of what we already have. I'm gonna turn this into a hole. I'm gonna lift it up two millimeters off my table, somewhere around there. So I wanna make sure that this shape and my bottom shape are exactly on top of each other. So I'm gonna to try to align, but it's going to mess everything up because nothing is grouped together. I'm gonna to group together my holes. All right, so that looks about right. Now, what I need to do, is align every single one of these cylinders with the other cylinder. I'm gonna shrink it down. So now I'm gonna to need to do that for every single one of these. So 20, turn that back down to 18. So that gives me a two millimeter wall there. But see how it's like not centered anymore? So I'm going to have to use a line tool in a minute to fix that. There we go, perfect. And we just repeat this all the way around. So remember, when the points are grayed out, that means that they are already aligned, so that's perfect. Now all of my cylinders are good to go. Now we still need to shrink down our box because we need to make sure that there's walls there too. I'm gonna center it, make sure it's all good. So you can see all the edges look pretty good. So I'm gonna select it all and group it all together. First I'm gonna lower my edge about three millimeters. Let's put a ring on our dog bone. Okay, now I'm gonna do this before we actually go backwards and ungroup everything because we already have all the holes cut out and this will actually cut away the part of the ring that penetrates through to the center. So it's like two birds, one stone. So here we are, we're gonna ungroup everything and then this is the part that needs to happen. So I'm just gonna increase the width of my hole so that it cuts away that funky little thing. So I'm not gonna change anything about the other direction though, cause that's still good. And now I want my ring to be, make, be sure to be centered too. So I'm gonna select all three of my center pieces. So all the boxes plus that ring, there we go. Now it's centered, so select everything and group it all together, and there is our bone. So next, we 
need to put our name on there. So here's the text box in this drop down and like I said my dog's name is Jack. So I am going to click and drag out the letters of his name. So again we don't have to worry about the size or alignment because what we're going to do next is select all of this and align it. And now by clicking each one of these I'm just going to adjust them closer together using my arrows. So that using the arrows will mean that we won't change the vertical position of them so they'll still stay on the same line but we're just going to make the letters closer together. So again we're going to align this and I don't really like it centered because it's counting the height of the ring so I want it centered aligned with the bone. There we go and now we just join it all together and there is my dog bone. I'm going to do dog or bone dog tag and save the changes. And download your STL file so you can upload it to your Kira Kira profile. Now that you know how to design this little dog tag, Create your own tag for your pet. <laughs> Be sure to visit KiraKira.com so you can learn all the skills that you need to know to make whatever design that you come up with. <laughs>